and good about it. That's kind of the discussion yeah. Selena and I had yeah. around it. But we're happy to fill it in. The only, only thing I have is if you get too many words in there, it starts. Should we want this on? No, no it's my it suddenly turned back on. It's here we go. Oh, we've got that over if there. If you get too many words in there, you're starting to muddy it. I'm I'm sorry that my voice is so loud. Turn it down, Jeff. I know. <laughs> What is that joke that uh, the neighbor yells at their kids so loud that even I went to bed? Fresh my cave and went to bed. We're good now. But I understand Jennifer's point, and mm -hmm. but I think we developed this priority originally for the business community. And if we start adding too many words or changing it and stuff, we're going to get away from that. And I think, like what Beth said, maybe putting that point into a different priority about the homes and the res residents um, and that community might be a better fit. And that, that's my opinion. Can we look through the other ones again just to refresh since we have some kind of stuff? Yeah, I was just going to, when we put together our gap analysis, the future state that council shared was more diverse economy, higher skilled and paid jobs, live and work in Covington, get Lake Point open and bustling, a downtown that continues to thrive, continued financial st stability, more small businesses, specialty businesses, increased support for small businesses, something open at Lake Point. And these are not organized, but just all your thoughts that we got, right? New restaurants, uh, new parks, uh, spend weekends or days outing within the city, plan in place for a rec center and plan for overlay road improvements. So that's what we developed that objective statement off of for those. Yeah, we don't need to yeah. finalize this yeah. now. So. Is, is it helpful to, to get a refresher of kind of what you had in your SWOT analysis as we're doing each one of these? Yeah. No? Okay. I'd, I'd say I agree. Going. Okay, okay. Yeah. We have them here. <laughs> yeah. She was fast. <laughs> and she was really fast. So we have Let's go to priority two. So, yeah, we'll go to right. two. We'll come back to one. So socially vibrant destination, and what uh, the proposal that I put together is uh, elevate Covington as a destination community to live, work, shop, and recreate through strong neighborhoods, enhanced natural spaces, and quality of life. Okay. Sorry, quality events. Strong neighborhoods. Strong neighborhoods. What, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. um, Engage. Well, part of the comments and part of where we drew that from was we want to have strong neighborhoods, neighborhoods that are active, engaged, that are maintained, taken care of. Like That's that. the word we use to describe. But I like that. Active neighborhoods almost yeah. is more, it's more of an action. I know that we're being subjective now, but you can build off of somehow strong neighborhoods. I'm like, I envision like the Michelin man of every neighborhood. <laughs> That's funny, actually. Or engaged. Yeah, that was what I initially thought. Engaged or active. That was my initial thought. We use engaged in one of the other yeah. ones, but um, an engaged city council. That's what we use in priority four. Yeah, there was something missing. Just quality days. Quality doesn't sound fun. I'm no, it doesn't. That. <laughs> <laughs> I have a better word. Mm -hmm. That's it. Show what they can do. Memorable. I don't like that. that. I don't <laughs> like that. Memorable events. No, just the word inclusive by itself. You need something else with it. Quality, quality inclusive is what Right. Inclusive quality. I think quality inclusive events, but if yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Like that. But I don't know that I feel like. 
I just don't want to follow them. I think we should just go make money back to it. Like, uplifting women. Mm -hmm. Attractive. I mean, I like that concept. So, and exciting, inclusive events. See, I like it better when you have an adjective in front of you. Exciting, exciting, inclusive. You can always make it as exciting and inclusive so, events that flows better. Did we land? I'm kind of just trying to make That's a few things. Do you want engaged neighborhoods? Yeah, I think active. I don't. Yeah, I think we're very active. Is either one? If we have it elsewhere, then yeah, we're gonna change it there. The other one can change. So, elevate Covington as a destination community to live. Just listen as I say it, so that you're as you're out in the community. So, elevate Covington as a destination community to live, work, shop, and recreate through active neighborhoods, enhanced natural spaces. And exciting and inclusive events. Do you like that word and in there, or would no. you rather just have it exciting, inclusive events? I, I don't I like exciting. I don't like the word exciting. I like the concept of it. I just yeah. don't think it, 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 kind of it just like doesn't flow. Yeah, it, doesn't it doesn't flow well. Whereas uh, enticing and elevate. Captive. So listen <laughs> to <laughs> elementary. listen to it this way then. Yeah. Elevate yeah. Covington as a destination community to live, work shop and recreate to engage neighborhoods, enhance natural spaces and quality inclusive events. Quality inclusive just doesn't flow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to have right. somebody just wordsmith something similar to exciting quality. I like the word active neighborhoods better than engaged. So vibrant is a good word, but we didn't use it because it's actually no priority. Well, yeah. Yeah. Why not? And Why not reuse like it? Origin. Yeah. <laughs> Why not reuse vibrant again? Yeah. Because it flows well and it just re institutes, rehances your statement up above. No, you can use vibrant, inclusive events. So elevate. Does that sound good together? I don't think so. No. Uh -huh. would, would there be a comma? Would it be vibrant? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. That's, that's, that's two adjectives you have. Vibrant. It, Sorry, it doesn't seem to flow. How about how about so we 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 um tinkered around with the word inclusive on several of these. And I think what we boiled down to well. is <laughs> And that was one of them where it just was really hard to fit it into a well sounding sentence. And the assumption was is that we are going to be doing that, whether we say inclusive in it or not. But if it's important to the council, we'll find a way to put it. Well, yeah, and, and, yeah. And if I could just add to what we're going to say, too, because we did kind of our, you know, we could work some of these things, but your vision has that in it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It really is at the top. Of, of yeah. where you're going with this, right? And so I think just right at the beginning, you're saying we're doing this for all. And then I think we were trying to narrow that focus down yeah. just a little bit with all of those assumptions with our vision, mission, and values. Right? And, and that's what I meant by the assumptions. Yeah. Because it's in our vision, it's assumed that mm -hmm. our objectives and action items are meeting that vision, which is, it says exceptional services for all. I think, I guess the one thing would be if everything was being introduced as a packet and some of these reading the vision and all of it, then it probably would make sense. But I could see as we're out and about, some of these things getting parsed off and you know being looked at separately, even though we all know what it is. But 
So that might be just something to think about as we do the final. It's learning on just to be sure. Well, and as the various teams are working on right. them, will they constantly be referencing the mission or will they be looking at the objective? But the thing is, it doesn't discrete anybody about the work. But I think you have to be intentional with inclusiveness because you need to have that pause. Like, oh, yeah, those other people instead of just assuming you got everybody. That's the best place to put the word inclusive. Um, and maybe we just take out the right. inclusive events. It sounds wrong too. I like, I like vibrant it. events. I think it's like yeah. some vibrant cultural events or something. Just you know? vibrant events for all. Yeah. Sure. All, all different, all different communities. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we have, I'm not kidding. Yeah. We have, and laughed about for so, all at the end of everything. Do we have for all on any of the other things right now? No, we took it off. Then why don't we <laughs> remove the word inclusive and put vibrant events for all? You guys want to say by the name? <laughs> we, we're seeing that now. Yeah. So elevate Covington as a destination community to live, Same. work, shop, and recreate through active neighborhoods, enhanced natural spaces, and vibrant events for all. That's that was good. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I'll use so it during the birthday it? party. <laughs> is that is this a for council's now, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Until yeah. the next time we talk about it. <laughs> But active neighborhoods are great, but some of you might think that they're being physically active, not engaged in active in community, which is why I like the word engaged. And I we might be able to wordsmith the engaged. I think it is know, a so better word. I think engaged is a better word. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> Through engaged neighborhoods, enhanced natural spaces, and vibrant events for all. It rolls. Yeah. For yeah. me, it roles. I think it sounds really good. Like if I was standing up in front of people and reading and giving a speech, it just flows so yeah. much easier. Not that you would stick yeah, to script. No. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> stick to script earlier today. So, and it turned out much better. There you go. Okay. Okay, so I think we're good on that one. Yeah. Cool. We'll go to priority three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hurry, hurry. <laughs> add, it. add it to before we get to it. Okay, sir. A commitment to health and safety. Objective statement, Grow Covington is a community where people are safe, live an active life, engaged in the community, and have access to city and social resources. I don't like it. Where all have access to city and social resources. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't sound bad. Agreed. And all have? Yeah. We talk about this word grow, how we kind of feel like we're past the grow. Mm -hmm. What were some of the other words that we were using? Do you remember that conversation? Yeah, well, forge is one of them. Yes. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. I'm, I'm not opposed to that. I love that word. Well, we, we liked it because um, we feel like we still are in the growing stage, um, and that growing towards greatness is a never ending pursuit, right? right? And so uh, we like the, the imagery over forging where growing is the sprouting and, this and a little more thing. freedom. Yeah. Forging a little more freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I like that where you have the word all. Any other comments on that one? This feels like too easy for this yeah. one. Yeah. Go to the next one real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Add the all in the <laughs> Okay, so exceptional city services. Uh, provide Washington's best municipal services through an engaged city council, responsive staff, and resources to meet the community's needs. Is that where you come from? Not just engaged? Oh. What about that? That might have been. But it's okay. It can be an active function. Yeah. 
Or what about a take what about a response to city council? Um and then for staff, um like top quality um I don't know, okay. in my head. The best Fred Moore. <laughs> <laughs> the awesome. The awesome staff. They're they're very well known in the community. They're very uh, uh Talented, but, <laughs> but, but more than that, expert. Intelligence got a little too funny. I like Dylan. <laughs> Come on. Exactly. I, I don't know. Well, I'm out. That's just yeah. I I feel like no. I would like to be a visible. Fire Washington's best municipal service is through a visible. And responsive and good. Responsive. And I think the reason we did that is because staff is responding to hundreds of, well, of messages no, in the daily. Right. So that's an important part you know, for staff. And we thought engaged oh, oh, oh. for so, right. so we yeah. thought engaged for council because yeah. that encompasses everything that you do. You you know? Yep. No, no visible and engaged. Yeah. Visible and engaged. Yeah. But engaged is also means visible. So yeah. yeah. And, and if I remember correctly, pull it up. This is really about um even when we were doing plot analysis, how can how can people be more approached? Mm -hmm. You know, how, how can they approach you? So, you know, they're not just coming to you. We could put so, approachable. For me. An approachable city council, but that's There's that's almost the same thing as the accessible okay. to folks. Yeah. It's effective to lively staff. Okay. Yeah, I like responsive. Mm -hmm. I think this looks good. Okay. This one, this one right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So do we put the A visible and engaged to the council? Mm -hmm. Sure. That's just it. Invisible. Well, right now, you know it's invisible good. would be cool. <laughs> Indivisible. <laughs> I'm sorry, indivisible. Undivisive. <laughs> and an indivisible. Okay. Okay. Should we roll back to one then? Yeah. Sure. So promote companies business friendly environment and growing economically diverse, resilient, and sustainable communities. I for me, I still like it the way it is. I would still like for all of it. You want to add for all of our students? No, no, no. 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 We not we comment for all yeah. the <laughs> community means Community already means so for all. We use the word diverse, and we're talking about um, our environment. Our environment is economically, economically diverse, resilient, and sustainable, and sustainable community. And so, because we've got diverse in there, that yeah, that should say that this is for everyone. It's not just the business environment. It's Benefits everyone, so that's why I, I think you intended this to be the business, yeah, diversity of the businesses. Mm -hmm. But I think the fact that, that word is in there also means that it benefits everyone. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the goal. The hope. What what if we change the community to economic? Or something. Does that get further away from what we're? No, I think about? it. I think it pinpoints it further that it's specifically about how we're growing. So and sustainable business. economic base. Sustainable, about sustainable economy. So we're what are you doing? We've already got an economically diverse. You've got business friendly environment. Oh yeah, it's hey, so hey, I would hey, I would. I'd still stay with the community. I mean, the second one you could take out about putting to the business run environment and grow a diverse, resilient, and sustainable economic space. Or promote having 
Yeah. But doesn't community yeah. kind of feed a little bit more into the conversation we're having? About, I think, yeah, I, I, I think we're all kind of, to keep, yeah. yeah, I, I would then, keep the first one. And then I like it as is, but that's only one of yeah. six. <laughs> because if you yeah. put economic base at the end, then you've got to take economically out. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it just throws it off. What if it read promote Covington's business mm -hmm. general my environment and grow a diverse, resilient, and sustainable economic community? That might be a good one. That focus is then on the, the businesses. It's the economic mm -hmm. community versus the community. Right. So, yeah. so, so the original part of objective statement, one, um, this goal, as we are putting together, was centered around building that economic base to support a sustainable community, mm -hmm. right? That, that was around our conversation. But I, I like yours, Joe, but I think it takes away that um, community aspect of it and centers it all around the economic aspect. I still like Which it. isn't, uh, you know, I don't know where the council wants to go, yeah. it's fine. I still like the first one because it just, it promotes the businesses to grow our entire community. That's the way I see it. It's not talking about a community of businesses, it's talking about a sustainable community, a diverse, resilient, and sustainable. But that's not community. clear. That's why everyone's going into this economic. Well, I mean, I guess I'm thinking about like what Jennifer said, and you have like one priority strict, is really in the end, all of it's going to go to the community as a whole. If we can, if we can nail all these things, part of it is the economy, and part of it is engaging with neighborhoods and part of it is having these events like so each priority sort of to me is a spoke in the hub of what we're trying to do right but it's so when you think of sustainable community we certainly could do that but then when I start thinking about it now that maybe this should be brought up which is good um if it's a sustainable community it's the services that we can provide it's because we have a tax base or we have I, I and then into in a perfect scenario, everybody would be able to sustain themselves, you know, because right. of the environment right. that we created. And for those that can't, then we can provide that safety net. But that's a lot to. When well, I'm thinking community now, I'm thinking about all those things. And, things that I've gotten. and remember, the objective statement is feeding into that or feeding from that strategic priority, which is a robust and resilient. Right, and so that's why our our building that was about promoting mm -hmm. our economy to support, which is how cities work, right? Yeah. The economy supports the community. It's not the other way around, you know, as far as economic. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Sorry, I'm, I'm good with the original ideas and purposes. What do you think about it? Um, if we were to really focus only on business and you know, do the second one down, then I think we could, would have to agree that it's all about business and business, which there's nothing wrong with because we have the different scopes of um, flavor for other things. But I'm, I'm okay with the first one. In fact, I like it. Like, like you said, it, we're talking about growing a diverse resilient. And for me, now that we've gone through all of the others, I feel like we have residents mm -hmm. covered in other mm -hmm. ways yeah. that I'm good with the original. I'm also good with the original. Finally. We want more than five. Well, no, I, I don't mean that. <laughs> no, I mean, I get it. I mean, if we wanted them, we'd probably be just 
any one of them. Either. So well, I, I, I get that. I really do. Like this is the council's strategic plan, right? That our organization is going to work on in the next several years. And so we want you to be really happy with it. Okay. Right. All right. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> I would I'm be happy excited with it. about it. <laughs> I mean, and I say that too because we talked about the other three, but. Again, yeah, all four of them together create what we're trying to do. Right. Well, like you said, the spokes of the wheel, yeah. right? And and this is important enough that it doesn't need to be time sensitive. If, if we need to come back on this, we can, right? Whatever the council is comfortable with. But you need this as your guiding star to start developing your actionable goals. Yeah. So I think yeah. kneeling it earlier is better. So would whatever this, works for council, we'll we'll move. So would this come back to count? Does this need to come back to council to approve it? So at this point, what we want to do is get some consensus on our objective statements, and then we'll go back and start working action items that we bring back for another study session with council. Then we'll put it all together and bring it back to council for approval. Okay. So here's kind of a, yeah, there you go. a slight example of. Those were my very rough draft yeah, action items I threw out real quick, but I still think someone would. Yeah, Sorry. so the intent here obviously now is kind of taking that objective statement and then all of the bloodstream and that are our prior information decision. And then the departments then how do we make that happen? What's the boots on the ground? What's the implementation actions to to you know make these come into fruition? Um and so these can just be very like you know to, to do this, right? Um and so this is just gives you kind of an example of, of things that can be done. Yeah. And and I, you know, if we want to wait, you know, something that I've seen also happen is, you know, if staff is working kind of off this draft objective statement, knowing that it could change, you might see stuff in our action items that kind of solidify what we think that objective statement could work together. Because that's how it should be, right? Yeah. <laughs> so if you want, we can. Uh, um, first one alone for now. We might think of some alternatives we can present, and then we'll create action items underneath those and bring those back, and we can discuss objective uh, one, and then uh, the action items for the other for the rest of them. Council good with that. Yeah. Okay. And that's better than mine. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. So is count do we have council consensus then to go? Can you show each one? Did you've got that one? We may evaluate that one. Mm -hmm. This one we prefer the one that's highlighted in yellow. The same with priority three, we prefer the highlighted in yellow. And then priority four in yellow. So is council consensus good with this so that staff can continue working forward to bring us back something with action? <laughs> Okay, I see consensus. Cool. Thanks, Council. Thank you. Thanks for a great presentation. Yeah. Bring us forward. Thank you. And my apologies again for starting late. Okay. Okay.